In this video, I would like to show you how you can get away with your cornrows for three weeks, even if you haven't added wigs. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for your support. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and turn on your notification button. So in this video, I would like to share with you how I have maintained my cornrows and how I've been moisturizing my hair in cornrows for three weeks. This is the fourth week. I know it has frayed and hair has started standing, but uh, I'm feeling too lazy to undo it and maybe it's a little bit too cold for me to handle the water so maybe i'll keep it for another week so that will be the fourth week now we all know that cornrows for natural hair do not last that long the maximum it would last without it looking scruffy is probably two to three weeks but in this video i would like to show you how you can get away with your cornrows even if you haven't added wigs by the way my cornrows are just from here up to somewhere here and then here we added some extensions these uh, wigs so i want to show you how i have maintained them that's managing to keep them for three weeks going to fourth week and that includes remoisturizing and neatening them up so let's get into it i've been using mostly two products and then for neatening up i've been using edge control with my toothbrush so this is like my daily morning routine and these are the things i use so the first thing i'll do is shake my moisturizer just in case some oils settle at the top this is caramel souffle daily living moisturizer from caravada it's got african cherry in it yeah so i spritz my hair like that don't mind the the white look it disappears almost after two minutes and then i also put it in the middle here wrap it in i don't remove my tie here i'm too lazy to do that and then i try to also spritz it on the wigs so that the hair i know my hair is reaching up to somewhere here but so that the hair can also be moisturized through the wigs then I rub it in. I make sure my edges are also wet-ish because I'll be neatening them up with some edge control. So now that I'm done with the daily leave-in conditioner, I also go in with oil. This oil is um, Kera 1010 Ayurveda Herbal Scalp Oil Treatment. This is for the scalp. If you like, it's got an applicator. You could go in the lines like this that like that that is if you really want to make sure you use the applicator but i just quickly squeeze it in my palms and then i go in like that this is just to make sure the hair is nicely moisturized and the moisture is sealed in and remember the scalp is exposed that is why i'm putting oil in the lines normally when i have an afro my scalp is not exposed so it doesn't get dry go in like that and we are done with the hair care now we move to the neatening up of the edges so i've already made my toothbrush wet with water and then i go in with uh, edge control by auntie jackie so i dab with my toothbrush like that just a little bit and then i go like that like this I don't go overboard with my edges by now i'm sure you know that but if you want to go overboard that's your choice so i go in like that then i also bring the hair here down then even here i do like that then i'm done i had um, these beads put there just to accessorize and these metal things yeah so with this I'm done but normally for the office if I'm wearing a suit I don't like to leave it like this I've been folding it in like this just go like that and like that and 
I'm good to go. So this is how I remoisturize, maintain my cornrows for three weeks, almost going to four weeks now. So this is a protective style and I'm shocked with myself that I was able to keep my hair braided because if you've been with me for some time, you know that I love my hands in my hair, but I think I'm becoming a lazy natural. So everybody out there do not think that natural hair cannot be kept in cornrows for more than two weeks. You can actually keep it for more than two weeks without it looking scruffy and I'm keeping it for another week. So it will be one month. By next Sunday, I think this is the best protective style ever because there's no wigs in the edges. It's just my hair and you can still feel your hair and your scalp. It's not, doesn't weigh you down. You don't even have to put the extension. If you want, you can just be putting a hair piece. But I wanted the feel of cornrows with extension. So if you want a feel with cornrows and extension, this is a very nice protective style. My hair is tucked away for one month. So make sure sure that you do your cornrows well and don't pull your edges so let me know in the comments down below how long you keep your cornrows without them looking scruffy and how you manage to uh, maintain them and still freshen them, them up so that they don't look scruffy I would like to really learn from you so let me know in the comments down below how you do that I will really appreciate. So if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification button so that each time I upload new videos, you get to see. Remember I had done a giveaway, a major giveaway for Caravada products and a few other oils. So in the next video, I'm going to be announcing the winners of the Caravada. So thank you very much for subscribing and bye. See you in the next video.